Happy Thursday guys and welcome to day 29 of my August challenge. It is so crazy to me that August has flown by. We only have a few days left of the August challenge that I have been running. Uh, today's video I'm really excited to do because it's a really important video to me and one that I'm really excited about. Something that I've been working <laughs> working towards uh, for quite some time. So I'm really excited to bring you today's video. And even if you are not a part of the challenge, I, I hope that maybe you are stopping by this video to get some details because I'm really excited to share some of the information that I have for today. Uh, but what I have on the challenge calendar, if you've been following along the calendar, is to check your goals. So earlier in the month, we talked about setting some goals. I think setting goals is really important. I've talked throughout the month how I think uh, writing stuff down, really planning out your goals, um, and not only writing down your goals, but the steps that you're going to take to achieve the goals. I think that that's really important. That's a big part of what this challenge is and kind of having these daily tasks to focus on is to work towards our goals. So about halfway through the month I did, um, you know, we were going to check in. How are we doing on said goals? It was really great to get your feedback and your your updates of, of how you've been doing because a lot of you shared what goals you were working towards in that first video, which I thought was so awesome. Uh, so we did our check-in about halfway through the month and now we're towards the end of the month. I'd love to read in the comments, of course, how you guys were doing on your goals, how you've, how you've done now that we're at the end of the month. And they didn't have to just be monthly goals. I mean, they could be smaller ones, they could be larger ones, something that you want to accomplish by the end of the year, you know, something like that. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say for today. I mentioned at the halfway point that one of my goals was to um, kind of fix up, clean up one of the bedrooms that we had in our basement. We just moved to a new house. This room kind of became very messy, very overflowed. And one of my goals was to, you know, really clean it out um, and get it into a, like a better working space for me. And I shared a progress clip. I shared like a before and after clip, if you will, of what that room looked like. And I felt like I made great progress. I took a Saturday morning. I really worked hard at it. Um, you know, actually put things in a proper place, really just kind of cleaned up and organized. I have like a little shipping section down there now. Uh, and everything looks pretty much the same in that first clip, except I've now added a mirror in there, um, just like a tall mirror. And that's where I'm going to film videos like clothing hauls, like I did an express clothing, clothing haul recently. And um, that's where I filmed it in there. So I just have a, um, a plain background with the wall and then I have the mirror in front of me so I can kind of see what I'm doing and take outfit photos and things like that. So I was really proud and really happy of that. I know my husband was super happy that I got that room cleared out, but that was a big goal of mine. It was something that I wasn't like looking forward to doing, <laughs> but I'm glad that it got done because it really needed to get done. Uh, another goal that I talked about in the initial video and something that I've been bringing a lot to these challenge videos is the volunteer work that I like to do. I've been pretty quiet on social media really the entire time I've been on social media about the volunteer work that I do. It's something that's always played a big role in my life. It's something that I've always been very inspired by even from a young age through my college years till now. But there's kind of this weird stigma that comes along with volunteering and you know just giving back because you know you're always going to have people that question like why are you doing it? Why are you talking about it? You know, is it just for the congratulations, the clap on the back, the, you know, things like that. And so over the years, I've, I've kind of taught myself not to talk about it because I don't want people to take it the wrong way. You know, I always think, you know, as long as I'm still doing something, as long as I'm still volunteering my time or donating or, um, you know, monetary donations, things like that. Like as long as I'm still doing it, I'm still making a difference. Like it doesn't matter if I'm telling people about it as long as I know I'm doing it then it's making a difference. But I've realized with having my YouTube channel and having more of a social media platform that I would really like to talk about it more. Um, not just to, to be like, yay, thumbs up, like you're doing a great thing, but to try to share with others really how simple it can be to get involved. To take a group of friends one day and decide that you want to do a highway cleanup, a park cleanup, a beach cleanup, something that will only take a few hours of your time, but you know, could really help. Um, you know, you know, maybe volunteering your time at 
a senior living center or you know shelters or something like that that you know there's a lot of volunteer opportunities of course you know donations even something to goodwill or the salvation army things that you have around your house but you don't need anymore you know you can donate them um and and you know they're always really appreciative of donations monetary donations of course can help too but even simply you know one day on the challenge it was shout out a, an organization or a charity and not just here and not just on social media but maybe to people that uh, you know you're friends with and you're like hey you know have you ever heard of of so and so they need volunteers this day or they do this work or something along those lines just to get that kind of communication talking about the different things that we can do to give back in our communities i think can be a really cool thing so that was something that i really wanted to bring to this challenge and there was I, I had a lot of different ideas of things that I wanted to do and wanted to put together, but I'm, I'm excited for today's video because I actually found two really great organizations in the Midwest area and I'm going to be running a donation drive for both of them and I'm, I'm really very excited about this. One organization is Rose Brooks and they were actually the organization that I talked about in that shout out a charity or organization video. I think that they do really amazing work just looking at their website and reading the different stories. Uh, they were the first women's shelter to take in not only women and children but pets as well. They have a pet shelter on site so anyone that needs the help and needs um, you know to to spend some time at the shelter can also bring their animals with them which I think is just amazing you know. Um, ooh. You know, I know how much I love my dog and, you know, how much she means to me and how horrible it would be to go through something like that and also have to give up my uh, my dog, my emotional support. So I think that's a really amazing thing. And so I'm really excited to be able to work with them on this. And they have a list on their website of kind of like their urgent need items. And they have it broken down into different categories from women to children to also the pets. Um, so I will leave the links down below of the products that it is that they need. If you have anything that you would be um, you know, willing to donate to this. That would be absolutely incredible. Uh, I do have a P.O. box that I will have listed in my description box as well. If there's any items that you want to send in to be donated, you can send them to my P.O. box and I will be putting everything together and taking um, the donations down to Kansas City, which I'm just, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I'm also going to have a, a PayPal email address listed in my description box. If you're not able to send in um, an actual item but you still want to get involved or you know anything like that, if there's any sort of monetary donation you want to give from a dollar, I mean anything would make a difference. I will take that money that gets donated and work off of their shopping list to purchase anything else that has come in for the uh, donations. And then uh, myself and my friend Ashley Clady, who's another YouTuber here, she's going to be helping me out with this, which I'm super grateful for. I'm very appreciative of her. Um, she lives near the Kansas City area also, and I know that she's. we've talked a lot. I mean, dating all the way back from last year, October, is when we've been talking about this, when we were at Gen Beauty in New York and wanting to do something. Um, so I'm super grateful for her and that she's going to be helping me with this. We're going to do uh, shopping together the night before that will take the donations down. Um, so again, if there's anything that you would want to send in, the P.O. box would be down there if you would like to donate money. Um, if you can or if you're able to, please do not feel pressure to though. I mean, there's been times in my life that I have not been able to donate, right? Like, there's been times where I was the person getting the donations, okay? So, I mean, just, I just want to throw that out there. So, um, but I, I did want to say that I'll have the P.O. box and the PayPal listed down there and you know any sort of funds that we can raise for the donation drive we'll be working off that urgent uh, list need as well and picking up the rest of the supplies and uh, going together to to drop off the donations at Rosebrooks so I'm really looking forward to that and then also uh, Hawthorne Hill is actually an organization in the Des Moines area which is where I have lived for 13 years we just recently moved out of the area I first heard about this organization through my college. The school that I went to was very big also on volunteer work, community service, giving back. It was part of our curriculum. It was something, um, with, it was actually required for us to do volunteer hours 
And I remember learning about this when we did a like school tour, me and my mom, and just thinking like how like how amazing that was because it was already something that I was doing, you know, very regularly. So um, we also did that as a part of our college curriculum, and you know, there's definitely things that you could do on the side too. And there was a lot of really cool programs and organizations that I learned about through my school, which I was really grateful for, uh, which is how I heard of Hawthorne Hill. So um, again, really similar when I when I talked to the gal who's helping with the donation drive. I mean, it, it's really similar to how Rose Brooks has it set up. They have that urgent needs list on their website. I will link it down below. Um, if there's anything that you would want to send in for that, or again, uh, any sort of monetary donation you would want to send in, um, I will be putting that towards the donation drive. I, I've been trying to think of like the best way to go about it. I mean, if you do want to send in donations, if, you know, I, I can probably tell looking at the list what's going somewhere, but I noticed looking at them, there might be a few repeat items. If, if you have, you know, a preference or something like that, if you just want to make a note of it, or if you're sending in a monetary donation, if you have a preference to an organization, I mean, um, feel free to to note it and I will make sure it's going towards one or the other. Um, I, I didn't know if that would be a thing but I just wanted to throw it out there in case you had any questions. Uh, and so for for the one for Des Moines, I'm, I mean I'm just going to be doing the same one as what I did with Rose Brooks, taking in the donations and doing any shopping um, with the money and putting my own money towards this as well of course. Um, we have some, some donations already that we were able to put together um, with Mitch and I, but, uh, you know, I will also be donating money and also, you know, of course my time and everything like that and trying to set this up and, you know, buying the rest of the supplies that they need, um, off that urgent needs list that both of these have. So I'm really excited about this. I, I'm, I'm excited to, to bring this kind of community, um, like giving back to your community aspect to my YouTube channel. It's something like I said when I was talking about this in my check-in video and in my first video that, you know, I was like, I'm disappointed that I stayed quiet about this for so long, but I really want to start doing more and, um, you know, just talking about it more and sharing about wonderful organizations that are trying to help and to also trying to help them, especially with something like a donation drive and just trying to get them the supplies that they need to be able to keep going and, you know, to be able to do the best that they can. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I, I hope some of you guys are able to participate and get involved. Um, and I hope to be able to, to send some, some great donations their way. So again, I'll have the links to both of these organizations down below to that page of what it is that they need. I'll have my PO box listed down there and also the PayPal email. Uh, and again, that's where Ashley and I will be doing the shopping working off of these lists so we can donate. I did want to put like an end time on it because at some point we are going to like do the shopping and then actually do the the donating. I was thinking of keeping everything open for maybe like three weeks. I don't know if that's too long, um, but I will have the, the kind of like the end date down below, maybe like two weeks, three weeks. I want to make sure I give people enough time if there's anything that you want to like mail in to me and whatnot. Um, but then I also do have to plan um, you know the shopping for it and then actually taking in the donations so uh, again check the description box and if you're watching a little bit later if you just want to check that out but I'm really excited about this I this is kind of like a first for me doing this in this kind of setting um, so I'm a little bit nervous about it and you know, I, I don't know how it's going to go. I've never done anything like this publicly and on a YouTube channel, but Ashley has been super supportive of this too, which I've been super grateful for. And it's nice to have someone to be able to, you know, kind of bounce off your ideas. Like, do you think this is good? Do you think like this would work and, and all of that. So I'm really very grateful to her too. Um, and I know that we're both really looking forward to, to doing something like this. And I hope it's something that I continue to, you know, can continue to keep doing going forward. So, um, yeah, for the challenge video, I mean, that is what I have for today is to check in with your goals. This one was a big goal of mine that I wanted to achieve and uh, I'm really very grateful to to both of these organizations that you know are able to to work with me and um, yeah I, I'm just I, I'm just excited I'm, I'm looking forward to it and uh, I think it'll be a really great day when we're able to drop off the donations so <laughs> Uh, that is going to wrap it up for today's challenge video. Uh, after today, we just have two more days left. So, and then August is over and we move into September. So I'm definitely going to be anxious to read your comments and see how you guys have been doing on your goals. Um, I thank you in advance if you want to take any sort of part 
in this donation drive that we are doing. Uh, I am very much looking forward to it and I really do thank you if you do want to be involved. Um, just really looking forward to this. Yeah, that is it for today's video. We After this, we only have two more days of the challenge yet, and it's been a really fantastic month. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.